Welcome back. In this video, we are going to see how to use a distal multimeter. And I would like you to subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for more updates. Considering you as a beginner, I'm going to use a basic terminology of the multimeter. Let's start by rotating the dial indicator. So we'll rotate the dial indicator in order to check if the display is in a working condition or not. So as you can see that it is displaying, so that means it is working. Now I'm going to use the basic terminology which is used in this multimeter and I'm going to explain it one by one. What you're looking at is an AC voltage sign and in this multimeter you can measure voltage from 0 volt to 750 volt AC. Similarly, this sign is for measuring the DC voltage and in this multimeter you can measure a DC voltage from 200 millivolts to 1000 volts. Now we will move to the next section, which is the resistor section. So in this section, we are going to see we can measure the resistance from 200 ohm to 2000 kilo ohms. Next section is about checking the continuity of wire or checking the diode. So as you can see, by putting the pointer in this section, you can measure the, either the continuity or the diode. You can also check the transistor from this multimeter. Click the card on the top right corner of your screen to know how to check a transistor. You can also measure a DC current a maximum of 10 amps by this multimeter. You can measure current from 200 milliamps to 2000 microamps by using this multimeter. There are total three number of terminals used in this multimeter. This one is the common terminal or a negative terminal. The next terminal is for measuring voltage, ohms and milliamps. And this is also known as a positive terminal. Third terminal is specifically for measuring high amps DC current. Generally, multimeter is provided with the two probes for connecting it to the component. So the black probe is a negative terminal and red probe is the positive terminal. Now we are going to attach a black probe to the common terminal, which is generally a negative terminal. And in the same way, we are going to attach the red probe to the positive terminal. Make sure terminals are properly attached and there is no chance of loose connection. Now we are going to start our first module. In this module, we are going to check AC voltage. We are going to rotate the dial indicator to 750 volts because as we know that the household supply varies from 220 to 240 volts. As we are going to measure the AC voltage, so you should take all safety precautions because it can be lethal if you're going to touch the probe with your bare hands. I advise you to wear a rubber gloves for additional precaution and never touch the tip of the probe. So now we will insert the probe inside the plug and you can see the voltage which is showing here is almost 246 volt. In the same way we are going to check another socket to reconfirm our results. Now in this module we are going to check the DC voltage of a battery. Now the first step is set the multimeter. In order to set the multimeter you need to rotate the dial indicator to the DC voltage. We will start our assignment by measuring a AA battery. So touch the positive probe to the positive terminal and negative probe to the negative terminal. So you can see the voltage it is showing is 1.6 volt. Let's flip the probe and check the battery again. So after flipping the probe, you can see a negative sign and the same voltage. So that means we are touching wrong terminals. Now the next battery that you can see on your screen is of a portable drill. So now we are going to touch the positive with the positive terminal and the negative with the negative terminal. And here you can see the voltage it is showing is 19.5 volt and the capacity of the battery is 20 volt. In this assignment, we are going to check the continuity of wire and the working of diode. So in order to do that, first we will rotate the dial indicator to continuity mode as shown. First, we are going to sort two probes and the beep sound that you are listening shows the trueness of the multimeter. We can check the working of diode on the same mode. So what you're looking at is known as forward bias diode. So in order to explain diode, you can have a look at this picture. So here, the one side of the diode is the negative side and the other side is a positive side. So the side with a band is a negative side. Anode will connect it to the positive terminal and cathode will be connected to the negative terminal. And you can see the reading, that means the diode is working. Here for demonstration purpose, I have a very light bulb in order to check the continuity of this bulb, we'll touch the two terminals with the two probes and the beep sound that you are listening to proves that the bulb is not fused. We can also check the LED light on the same mode. We'll just touch the two terminals of the light and you can see it is glowing up. So that means your LED is working and it's not fused. In this module, we are going to check the DC current. 
In order to check the DC current, we'll rotate the dial indicator to the desired position as shown in the video. For this module, I have prepared a simple circuit which consists of a resistor, a multimeter and a battery. So now here, the multimeter is connected in series with the resistor and a battery. This one is a very basic electrical circuit and you can see the resistor here. Now we are going to connect the multimeter in series with this battery and another terminal. So one end will connect it to the terminal of the wire and the another end will be connected to the terminal of a battery. So here you can see the current it is showing is 55.1 milliamps. So this is how we calculated the current flowing through this circuit. In this assignment, we are going to check the resistance of a resistor. So here we have two resistor and we are going to check its resistance one by one. Now the first step is to set the multimeter in the resistance mode and that can be done by rotating the dial indicator. We will roughly set the dial indicator to the desired mode and let's say here we have set it to 20 kilo ohms. Now we will connect two probes to the two terminal of a resistance. First, we are going to measure the resistance on the right hand side. So as you can see, the total resistance it is showing is 9.85 kilo ohms. So this is how you measure it. In the same way, we are going to measure the second resistor. As you can see, it is fluctuating as if now and it will settle down in a while. So now you can see it is showing exactly 5.01 kilo ohms. In this video, we have learned how easy it is to operate a multimeter. Thanks for watching and please do like and subscribe to my channel for more updates.